Hello everybody, in this Python tutorial we're going to go over a few different ways that you can create scatter plots. For our first example, the first thing we did is we imported matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Next we've gone ahead and created our x and y data. Here for the study hours that will be our x data and then here for the exam scores that will be our y data. And what we want to do with this scatter plot is to examine the relationship between hours studied and then the exam score based on those hours studied. To create our plot, we can just simply use plt.scatter and then inside the round brackets, we wanna go ahead and assign our x data and our y data. Then here, we've just simply given our chart a title and assign the x and y axis labels. So let's go ahead and run this. And over here, you can see our scatter plot. So what you can see from this visualization is that there is somewhat of a relationship between hours spent studying and a higher score. Okay, so that looks good. However, another thing you might want to do is to add a regression line. So let's go over an example of how to do that. Now for this, we wanna go ahead and import the Seaborn library and the Pandas library. Don't worry about this code too much for right now. Basically, this just allows us to set the size of our chart to make it just a little bit smaller. Now, to create our chart with the regression line, we've gone ahead and we've created our data similar to our last chart with our study hours and our exam scores. Now, the difference you'll notice here is we've gone ahead and we've used our pandas library and then a dot, we've accessed the series and then inside the series round brackets, we've assigned our data. Go ahead and do the same thing for your other data set. And then to create the scatter plot with the regression line, go ahead and use your Seaborn library, a dot and access reg plot, which I'm assuming is short for regression plot. Inside the round brackets, go ahead and assign your x axis data set and your y axis data set. Let's go ahead and run it. And we get our scatter plot with the regression line. And for our last example, we're gonna go over how to create a simple bubble chart. And to create a simple bubble chart, one way you can do that is by using the scatter plot, okay? So go ahead and import your matplotlib.pyplot and numpy. Now in this case, we've gone ahead and used the numpy module that allows us to load in our data. So let's go over this in just a little bit more detail. First things first, let's show you a quick preview of our data set. Let's go to our desktop. And we're using a CSV file. And here is a quick preview. So we've just taken a few records from a larger data set with some GDP, gross domestic product per capita data, and some corresponding lifespan data and population size data for about 10 different countries or territories. Okay. So what we've done here is we have created three variables, our x-axis data variable, our y-axis data variable, and you could consider this a z-axis data variable, or that is equivalent to the size of the bubble in your bubble chart. Then we've gone ahead and we've used the NumPy module, and we've accessed load text. Then inside the load text, you want to go ahead and put the path for where your file is, and as we just showed, that file is on the desktop and then obviously include the file name, and we have included the file type. Put in the delimiter comma. Then this unpack argument is pretty important because we want to go ahead and unpack parts of that data and appropriately assign it to our X, Y, and S variables. So for that, we have assigned true. Okay, so what that should do is that should take the GDP data and assign it to the X variable, and then take the lifespan data and assign that to Y, and then take the population data and assign that to S. Now we've gone ahead and skipped our first row because those are just titles. And you'll notice, let's go back real quick. We just want this column, this column, and this column. So I believe they start at zero, so we just want the columns one, two, and three. So that's why we've used this argument, short for use columns one, two, three. Okay, next, to give these variable names just a little bit more meaning, we've gone ahead and assigned X to the GDP, Y to the lifespan, and S, which you could think of as the size of the bubble, to the population. Now we're gonna use some different colors for our different bubbles. So we've gone ahead and created a list of those. Here we've just gone ahead and given our chart a title and assigned the X and Y axis labels. Now finally, 
Here, to create the bubble chart, we use plt.scatter. We've appropriately assigned our data to each axis, GDP to X, lifespan to Y, and the population to S, which will be the size of the bubbles. Now, oftentimes these bubbles will overlap, so we have given the bubble colors an alpha value of 0.5, which should make it slightly transparent. And then for the colors argument, we've just put in our colors that we created here. Okay, so as we mentioned, this is a very simple bubble chart. And as your data sets grow, this will get a little bit more complicated, but we just wanted to go over a simple way that you could do this. And then you can go further with it if you'd like. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we get our simple bubble chart. Okay, so that's all we have for this tutorial on scatter charts. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.